So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Bosello from Curva.com and uh, today we're going to talk about sorting. This is a question that I get a lot of times, especially when people have watched the calendar videos and it is how do I sort day names correctly? How do I sort months correctly? Do I need to change a number to text to be able to sort things? Um, and a question that actually came two days ago, it was how do I sort things so I get right to left settings on Power BI. And these right to left settings, in case you don't know, is for countries that actually read things from the right to the left. Okay, so we're used to in the Western countries to read left to right, but there are a lot, a lot of countries actually that read the right to left. And you might think that changing the settings regional settings will fix that, but it does not. So you need to work it out a little bit to actually get those settings right. So I will be talking about sorting numbers, sorting text and sorting right to left. So I'll see you at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's see how we sort things in Power BI. Um, what I'm going to do is as an example, it's a calendar because I've, I've got all the questions about the calendars, of course, but also because it has all the examples in the world that you might need <laughs> for sorting. So it's a good example. So if you want to sort, um, let's see, let's start with text. If we want to sort text, let's say we have this day name, day name, which is basically the name of the week and you use sort by day name. And what Power BI is going to do is actually going to sort it alphabetically. So if we go the other way around, it will be ascending F, M, S, T, W. And of course, this is not what we want. What we want to do is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yep, you get it, right? So how do we do that? To do this, you need to actually have a column that tells Power BI which sort order you want. I think for calendars, it's a little bit of a pity because Power BI should know the calendar function should be like super clear. Monday is always Monday. Perhaps it's the language thing that makes it complicated. Um, but it is not an issue. You can actually do it. So this calendar was actually created in Power Query and there is a video on how to create calendars. Uh, there is actually quite a few videos. I, I will post a link to blog post where I have all my calendars uh, there, so you can actually go and check them out. But this specific calendar was created in Power Query. So let's go to Power Query to see how this was done. So here we have all the steps. They are documented, so you can exactly see what each thing does. You can actually see it on these um, properties there or on the advanced editor, you can actually actually see all the steps, all these uh, are comments to the actual code. So here we have the day name and what we need to have is actually a conditional column that says if Monday, so if this is Monday, then one, otherwise two, otherwise three. And this is actually done here in this step, sort day name. So in this case, there is a Power Query function that you can actually use um, that it recognizes the names of the days and then it gives it the appropriate number, but you could actually do it manually also. So what you see here is we'll give one to all Mondays and two to all Tuesdays. And then you just load this thing once you have it, and then it will show up here. So you can see our day name, and then we, you can see the sorted day name. And to sort these things, you just go into there, click on it. You go to um, sort by, and then sort day name. So what you're basically saying is this column should be sorted by this column. And then this one you don't want to see anymore. So you can just hide in the report view. So all these sort columns should be hidden afterwards. So this is how to sort 
text. So you have to give it first a number. So this is number one, this is number two, and then Power BI will actually get how you should sort it. So as you can see now, it's doing it correctly. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this is good. Now, how to sort numbers that you want as text. I have an example here. Month number is a number, but when you're creating graphs, you don't want it as a number. You actually want it as text. Let me show you. So if we put month number in there, you can see this. That means basically that is a number. And what it's going to do automatically is going to sum, which is a pain. So you might think, oh, I have to actually go back and import it as a text. You can definitely do that. I've done it here as an example. So you can see that it's one, two, three. This is, these are numbers, the stores as text. But you don't actually need to do that in case you would need the numbers later. What you can do is you can go to month number and here on default summarization, you can just write done summarize. And that basically signals Power BI that even if this is a number, I don't want you to automatically summarize it. Let's put some sales. And then you can see that it's actually giving us the values as text. And this trick is actually useful because in that case, you don't actually need, you know, to have a sorting um, function for it. Not that you would need it because Power BI will always get to this is, you know, text. Let me see if I can explain myself. So you, you, if you see here a quarter number is imported as test and is being sorted correctly. But there are actually cases where you want the number to be at a, a number, store as number and uh, use it as text. So you can actually do that by classifying these as a number, but don't summarize. So this is actually the way to sort numbers and text in Power BI. And uh, to finalize this video, this is actually uh, what I was talking about before where I got a question on how to do right to left visualizations in Power BI. And you might think that if you change the regional settings, uh, let's see, options to locations where people read left, um, left to right, or sorry, right to left, that the visualizations will follow. And unfortunately, they don't. There are a lot of ideas on the Power BI forum, so go there and vote them up in case you need them. Um, I got a question, um, and because I don't, or I haven't worked with any country where they are actually needed this uh, right to left, I didn't know the answer, but Neil was very nice to answer. And I wanna show you in case there are others that also need this. So let me show you what I mean. If, let's say we put our month name, we put our sales, and then we create our graph chart. And for people, for, uh, at least for some countries, we read left to right, right? So you start here and then read all the way to the right. Um, and everything is done that way. If you would like to do exactly the opposite, you can actually do it. It takes a little bit of work, but you can do it. And this is where you can actually use the uh, templates, you know, the um, theme templates, because then you can set that you want things align right to left and your axis should be right to left. Instead of doing it manually, you can actually specify that in your JSON file. I have a video on how to, you know, this JSON files thing, how, how you configure. So I think for you, this is most relevant. So you can save a lot of time um, fixing this. But let me show you how it's done manually. So you actually see what you need to change. So we have here a 
line chart. I don't know if for line charts you actually read right to left. I'm going to assume that you do if you don't forget this. But the first thing you want to do is you want to have the title right to left, right? So we are going to title and you just align it right to left. And then you want the axis, the Y axis on the right. I, I'm going to assume that that's the way it's written. I, I don't know. So we go here, position right. And now you have a right to left. And you can configure this on your JSON file, okay? So then you can have your right to left settings, if you would say so. What happens if you have a table? So let's say we have category name, we have product name, that's the normal hierarchy. Let's say we put sales, we will give it a title, uh, title, 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 we go there. Let's call sales by product, for example. And now you want to do this right to left. So you would do the same thing. If you're going to read right to left, you want to have probably category name first. You just change the order and then product name and then total sales. And you probably want to have the title again, right to left. And now you're good to go. Okay. And then you can configure this, uh, at least the title on the JSON file, uh, the order of the, um, uh, of the columns, then you would have to do it manually, but we all have to do it manually, right? Okay, so as you can see, this right-left sorting is a workaround, obviously. And if you use custom or custom themes, you will be able to actually fix that fairly quickly. Uh, if you don't, you will have to do quite a lot of manual work. But uh, there are a lot of uh, ideas on the ideas.powerbi.com and you can just go there and vote them so Microsoft uh, can prioritize that work in case that is like super important for you. Um, so hopefully I managed to explain that correctly. But this is the end of the video. I will see you again on Friday. So take care and enjoy the BI Summit if you are there and let me know all about it on Twitter. I will be there listening. Take care. Bye.